Oh my goodness, coming on 15, 16 years now. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, the world has changed so much. And we need the world to come together to defeat both these. And we need the world to really appreciate together that we are one humanity, that we are one people. I think we're, it's very important um, that we keep food on the table of nations. And it's just as important we can put food on the table of nations tomorrow and the next day, not just today. Um, we have a huge new energy source. It's not coal, it's not gas, it's not oil. It's the biggest energy source in the entire world, one which can power all of humanity several thousand times more. It could be wind, it could be solar, it could be hydro, geothermal, tidal, but we can convert that renewable energy now to hydrogen. One could tell very clearly that you are a strong advocate for green hydrogen. And there's a lack of trust though, Andrew, I have to remind you. So what is your prescription? Uh, I think that you make some very good points. My prescription is this to every leader in the world, be you in business or politics, it doesn't matter. If you are in any form of leadership, you have to remember your primary objective is to bring down the cost of living and bring up the security of people. And the security of people is very dependent upon energy and the cost of living is very dependent upon energy. And if we don't grasp the biggest form of energy that's ever existed in the world, which is green ammonia, green electricity, then we're really doing the wrong thing. We must grasp this opportunity. When are we going to see the scenario that the cost of uh, uh, green hydrogen, for example, producing electricity will be comparable to what it is now for coal, uh, you know, powered uh, electricity. I think you make a very good point. Um, green hydrogen is competitive to one right now. It compares very well with hydrogen made from oil or coal. It's competitive right now. It compares very well with ammonia made from fossil fuel. But I want to remind you that when oil first came on came onto the world scene, it was over $500 a barrel. It oscillated between $500 a barrel and $1,600 a barrel. And people were saying back then, well, it's easier just to chop down wood. Now's the time we move on to the, to the solution which will resolve pollution in our atmosphere yeah. forever, and that's green hydrogen. And it can be done at today's cost. We need to just get after it and make it happen.